before we actually come out, this is what should have happened. You should have had a fully written quote with all of the details, item by item, if you're having multiple things. If you'd had any queries and got back about that, we would have sent out an updated version of that quote so that you know exactly what to expect and what you are paying for. You should also take a look at the terms and conditions. There's a link on the bottom left box of that quote, which takes you to where the full terms and conditions are on the website. If your job is the first job of the day at 8.30 a.m., then we will be pretty much on time. However, with every job after that, we do it in a list, one, then the next, then the next. And so we could be one hour, give or take, of the time specified. However, we do send you a link to your mobile or email, depending which you gave, so that you know that we're on the way. This link is a navigation link and you can look at it to see where we're at. And it'll tell you also when to expect us and how long we're going to be. And when we arrive, we're going to look after your property and we'll put blue over shoes on right at the start to protect your carpets. It would be useful if the area that we're going to be working in is clear so that we can get in there and put the tools down. And then before we start, we'll just make sure that we know what we're here for and we'll explain how we're going to tackle it and when, if at all, the power is going to go off. Oh, and one last thing. Mine is coffee, milk and no sugar. An electrical inspection involves two main parts. First of all, I'll be knocking off the power and looking inside of the sockets, lights, all the different accessories, the fuse board as well, to see what's going on in there. And there's a lot more visual checks that I'll do too, to make sure nothing's going to get damaged, nothing's unsafe, or live parts sticking out, and so on. And then the second thing is the actual testing itself with my meter. So that's tests that are done with the power off, and there's also a series of tests that are done with power on too. All of these take a while to do and the power will be off for most of that time. But before the power goes off, I will let you know so that I know it's okay for you to have that power off. When the power goes off, I'll need to go around and unplug everything. So in preparation, if you know if there's any sockets or anything that's not easy to get to, or there's obstacles in front of it, it would be ideal if you could clear that. But either way, just let me know where everything is and then I can go around and unplug and turn everything off and then get on with the testing. At the end, these things will go back in again and I'll check to make sure the power's back on, but obviously make sure that the right things are in that you want on. So for example, while I make sure that the freezer and the heating and these things are on, you might have certain chargers and bits and bobs that you want on and other things you want leaving out. So it's worth double checking after I've gone, just to be certain. I'll show you the actual report at the end on my iPad screen, and I'll talk through what I've found, what it means, and what might be the best way to fix it. And I will automatically send a quote through if anything was found. If anything is found, it's entirely up to you what to do next. And there are three different classification codes, and I will explain all of this to you when I go through it. Once you are entirely happy with everything, you can pay by card, credit or debit, or by bank transfer. The details for bank transfer are on the original quote, and they will also be on the new invoice. The reference number is on there too. Please note that we do not take cash or checks, but we do take any cards and also a bank transfer or bank payment online. But once we leave, that's not the end of it. You then have aftercare. So if anything should go wrong, just pick the phone up, email us, get in touch, and we'll put it right. And then if you'd like to rate or review us, that is a win-win situation because there's a little surprise that I have for those people that do review and those that give us a five-star rating and a five-star review on Google. Without your reviews, we'd be nowhere. And so that's why we've got a nice surprise for anyone that does give us a five-star review. 
It's an ethical bribe, but I think you'll really like what this surprise is. And so if you've got any questions at all before proceeding, please let me know and I'll be happy to answer any of them. Thank you.